brought in a large copper plate etching. So it's um, a, an intaglio method. I use reductive plate um, color process. So this has been printed on this piece of paper four times, so four different colors, but you get a wide range. I learned it at um, OSU from the printmaking instructor Yuji Hiratsuka. And um, I really appreciate the Art Center's uh, letting artists come and display their work. And um, my piece is called Red, White, and Blue. And I hope people enjoy it and have fun with it. <laughs> I've had it up there. It's uh, found objects that just find their way together in my mind and eventually they go to this the one board. This is the same um, technique. It's the off the street. Um, it's process color. Um, I'm Caitlin Martin and I wrote this series recently. It's called Wildwood. And it's based in Portland, the office of Portland. And it's a really good series. So I did my bowling. Arctic. Um, it's white stoneware, and all of my masks are inspired sort of by the idea of the spirit that exists in all the elements of nature. And this, this is called Let's Go to Church. And um, I know I spent over a year, and my tools consisted of just a pair of dikes, um, a little saw, and sandpaper, and glue. That's it. Um, I did use a power tool twice um, to make these holes here and here, but that's the only power tool that I ever used on it. Hi, I'm Deb Curtis. I'm a basket weaver. Um, this basket is uh, using uh, an East Coast technique, but West Coast materials. The dark in the basket is Western red cedar bark. The light in the basket is ash, and then the rim is... Um, a willow stick, and the technique is from the Nantucket Lightship Baskets back made in Nantucket, Massachusetts. Um, my name is Catherine Friday, and the title of this piece is Pollinator's Prayer, and it's um, it's a piece dedicated to uh, awareness of the plight of pollinating insects in this time. It actually opens, although I'm not going to have it open in the display here because of the technical difficulties with propping the door open because of the weight. There is a stuff on the inside as well. Oh. And this is a very old uh, cigar box that I have played around with for a while and made into